Hey guys, I'm back again to share the continuation of the Bhutan trip. So in this video, I'll be sharing day three, four, and five. In case you have missed out watching the part one of Bhutan trip, I'm leaving a link below in the description box. Please do watch and like and subscribe my channel. Happy morning, and right now I'm in Timpu, which is the capital city of Bhutan. So it is so cold outside there. It is freezing cold. So that's why I'm like this. I just got a few months back. Um, today is a sightseeing day. So we'll be visiting also many places in Timpu. And yes, I'm so excited. So let us see how it goes today's day. And I'll make sure that I capture everything in the video to show you guys we had our breakfast and by nine o'clock we were all ready to explore timpu and this is the outer view of the hotel which we stayed in timpu close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all trust yeah no i don't want to waste what's left and we will go through the wastelands through the highways to my shadow to the sun rays the first place which we visited was the buddha view point and this is how it looked from the entrance The moment we entered this Buddha viewpoint, we were amazed to see this gigantic Buddha statue which was present in between these beautiful mountains. They said that the construction was begun in the year 2006 and got finished in the year 2010. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and After seeing the Buddha viewpoint, the next place was Memorial Chotan, and this is also called as a Timpu Chotan. This was built in 1974 to honor the third king. There is also an entry fee, and it is of rupees 300. Since there was election going on, most of the restaurants were closed and finally we found this restaurant and we had our lunch in this restaurant and then next moved to the national library. Since the photography is restricted inside this library, I couldn't take any pics or videos. So this is the outer view of the national library. Minister का staff है और बीच में वो जो सफेद है dragon dragon means druk हम लोग बोलते हैं हम लोग का भाषा में druk वो हम लोग का देश का नाम है dragon druk बोलने से हम लोग का देश का नाम है वही है और यहाँ से कुछ फोटो 
This is another Buddhist monastery which is called as Tashisho Zong, which is present in the Wang Shu. Hope I spelled it properly. And this is also called as the fortress of the glorious religion. The next place we visited was the Takin Mini Zoo. After we went there, we got to know that the zoo is closed due to the election. So Takin is the national animal of Bhutan and it looks like a cross between a cow and a goat. There's actually a story behind this Takin animal. In case I get a link, I'll definitely post it in the description box. The next place was also a monastery. So to reach the monastery, we need to climb around 35 to 40 steps to reach that. Here we are seeing the lowering of the flag in Tashisho Zong. So this will happen every day at 5 p.m. So this is how the day 3 got over in Timpu and I personally love Timpu and um, we are heading back to the hotel where we stayed and finally the day is over. Hey guys happy morning. Um, so today is day 4 and I'm we are vacating this hotel and our next destination is Punika. Hope I'm spelling out properly. If it is wrong, please forgive me. And uh, it's a three hours journey from Timpu to Punika. So there are a lot of places which we'll be visiting in between. So let us see how it goes. 
On the way to Punaka, we found this apples and when we tasted it was sweet and juicy. In case you find it, don't miss it. On the way to Punaka, we visited Dochla Pass which is completely covered by fog. Trust me guys, it was damn cold. Without socks, sweaters or jackets, you really can't stay in that place. What you are seeing is now the 108th stupas which was built by the eldest queen mother. Apart from this, you can also visit monastery which is just opposite to this stupas and it was built in the honor of the 4th Druk. So finally we reached Punaka and this is Punaka Zong which is also called as the place of great happiness. It is the second oldest and largest Zong in Bhutan. It was built in 1637 and served as the seat of the government. The entrance ticket for this Zong is around 300 rupees. There are two river, one is the male and female river. So the name of the river is Mochu and Pochu. Uh, there was a guide who was explaining everything about the song and he explained it very nicely.
The next place we visited is the suspension bridge which is near to the Punakka Zong. This suspension bridge is the longest bridge and it is present in the Pochu River. The best month to visit the bridge is during summer and winter. It is said that during rainy season it is bit risky due to the strong winds. So to reach this place you need to walk a lot. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. There is also a river rafting and the cost of the river rafting per head is 1500 and they cover 15 kilometers and it will take around one or one and a half hours. After a long day we came to the hotel and this is a small room tour so we got freshen up and we went to have our dinner and this is how the day four got ended So this is day 5 and we are vacating this hotel and the next destination is Paro. So from Punaka to Paro it is around 127 kilometers. So this is the outer view of the hotel which we stayed in Punaka. On the way to Paro, we found this beautiful river and we all decided to go near to the river and take some snaps. So I couldn't hold myself so I just touched my feet into the water and it was ice cold. So this is the Paro airport. Though it is small, it is very clean and very beautiful.
Right now we are in Paro and we decided to do some shopping and then check in to the hotel. So when we started doing shopping, it was, the time was around 5.30. So Paro is a very beautiful city and the shopping is very costly there. In case you guys want to do shopping, then Punchiling is the best place for shopping. When you compare the rates from Paro or Timpu Punchiling, you get it in a much lesser price. Finally, we checked into the hotel and this is the lobby of that hotel and from the Paro city, it, uh, this hotel is present around 15 kilometers far and it was damn cold here when it is compared to the Paro city. So this is a small room tour. So after freshen up, uh, we came to have our dinner and this is the cafeteria. So this is how the day 5 got over and hope you enjoyed watching this video and please do like subscribe my channel take care bye bye